Hey guys, how's it going? It's Danny. So I got monetized a month ago and I just got my YouTube paycheck. I thought this information might be useful to you if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel or if you're a YouTuber and you want a point of comparison. So I'm not going to tease you, I'm just going to let you know how much I got paid and then I'll give you the background so that you can have some context after that. So for the month of February, I got paid $98.65 Australian dollars and that converts to $73.64 US dollars. And if you're not familiar with AdSense, that's when the YouTuber gets paid for the viewer watching ads on their videos. So thank you so much for watching ads on my videos. What do you think? Is this a lot? Is this pittance? And if you're also a YouTuber who make money off AdSense, if you're comfortable leaving how much your first paycheck was, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. It's okay mom and dad, I'm not gonna leave my day job just yet. <laughs> So no, it's not enough to sustain my lifestyle. I mean, who am I kidding? I'm a luxury addict, right? <laughs> At the same time, I'm happier than making nothing. You may already know that in order to be monetized on YouTube, you need at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within a 12-month period. I hit 4,000 watch hours a long time ago with this eyelash tutorial video. It is still my most watched video on my channel and where I make most of my revenue. In the grand scheme of things, my YouTube channel of just over a thousand subscribers is plankton in a big pond. <laughs> it did take me 20 months to get monetized. Now, is that a long time? I'm not sure. We hear all these really great success stories on YouTube of people getting monetized within six weeks, three months. You know, that sounds incredible. But then again, there are really big YouTubers out there who've taken a long time to get monetized. Rob from vidIQ, who has a huge YouTube channel now, he took eight years to get monetized. Catherine Manning took 18 months to get monetized. And from memory, she was even fully invested into doing YouTube. So why did I take 20 months to get here? Upon reflection, I think it's because I had too many niches. I always knew that I wanted to do luxury content and that's because I love watching luxury content, I love luxury, and there's not really anyone in my life who can tolerate me talking about luxury as much as I need to. I did start with motherhood content, so tips for new parents, and it was the right thing to do at the time. It was the stage of life that I was in. A friend of mine had just fallen pregnant and she was interested in the tips that I had to share. I wanted to do a YouTube channel at the time, so it was the perfect catalyst for the start of my YouTube channel. Some videos from my parenting playlist still get watched quite a bit, and look, as long as my tips are helping another new parent, I'm all for that. I think what prevented my mummy content from taking off was that my daughter was not in the videos. And this is true for family vlogs or family type content. Views actually peak when children are present and they drop when the dads turn up. <laughs> And look, I totally get that. I love watching other people's children too. But I've never been comfortable doing that to my daughter. The way I think about it, if my mom put my entire childhood on the internet as a full grown woman now, I probably wouldn't be particularly comfortable with that. <laughs> and then I started making my bilingual English Chinese videos. That's another area that I'm really passionate about. I predominantly made those videos for my daughter to watch, but she didn't, she's not watching them. <laughs> she's so ungrateful. <laughs> But anyway, um, I guess I was slightly disheartened by the fact that she wasn't watching my videos. In any case, it also coincided with the time that I purchased my Hermes Kelly. And I was so aesthetic about that, that it unleashed the side of me that wanted to do my Lux content. Am I a patient person for pushing on for this long? I think I'm a relatively patient person. I guess it really helps that I enjoy making videos. And before I made YouTube videos, I enjoyed doing PowerPoint presentations. I know, I'm a real nerd. <laughs> YouTube as a hobby, I guess, really suits my mummy lifestyle anyway. I have a little bit of time here and there, usually before 7am and after 10pm. That's when most people are asleep or most shops are closed. <laughs> and then I also work part-time. I have one day off a week. So right now my daughter's in kindy and this is when I have a little bit of time to do some filming. So doing YouTube all in all fits really well into that. And if I wasn't doing YouTube, I would be shopping. So although I only make a very small amount of doing YouTube, I'm saving a whole ton of money. So win, win, win all round for me. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for those of you who watch my videos and also the ads on my videos now. On screen, I'm going to leave my latest video and also a video that I think you may enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in one of these.